Hello, this is not H.C. Bailey. This is your old friend H.D. Bailey, and welcome to my second LP in HD. Well, I've done other videos in HD, but the game's naturally in HD this time around. You guys have been waiting for this one for a long time, not just because of the amount of time between the announcement and the actual release date of this game, but also just because I hadn't done an LP for this game yet. But, well, now it's finally here. The HD remake. And I love how they ha re redone the graphics in this. Did a really nice job. The thing that I really noticed most is the lighting and the shading. It's like you see on the right there, uh, Yuna's face where it's, the sun is on her and then it's fading to the other side where it's darker for the shadow there it's like really nice and smooth there whereas like in the original PS2 version of the game uh, it was a lot more noticeable I mean obviously the graphics were revolutionary for the time but still I mean you could see the shade lines there so it's really apparent uh, speaking of the PS2 version of the game uh, even though I am playing the new HD version, uh, you can follow along playing the PS2 version of the game. The original American version, or the international version, whatever version you like. It, this LP will apply to that. I mean, there are going to be some minor differences, like there's a couple abilities that you can get, and obviously there's bonus content, and like some abilities were slightly changed, but for the most part, you will be able to follow along. If there is a difference, I will point it out when we get to that in this LP. The last game in the main series that I haven't done yet. And, well, it's about time I got back to this series. I've stayed away from it for too long. And let's play Final Fantasy X! Ah, been waiting for this one for a long time. Not just you guys, I've been waiting for this for a while. Did my test runs over over a year ago for this thing, but, uh, well, I've still got my notes and I know the game very well, so let's get started here, then. Executive Produce? Oh, wait, no, that's another game. So let's get started here. Now, for this LP, I'm going to be using the standard sphere grid. That's basically the way you learn abilities in the game. The standard sphere grid is essentially the original one. Each character has sort of their own individual job class for the vast majority of the game. And so that makes everyone relatively unique. I mean, there's ways you can bypass that. But for the most part, you're probably going to be doing that. Uh, if you use the expert sphere grid, then you can start in the middle and you have a totally different sphere grid. You can go to any job class you want, learn whatever abilities you want. Uh, so if you want to do that, hey, go go for it. But me personally, I'm not going to do that. Because I want this LP to apply as much as possible to uh, the original, as, or the PlayStation 2 version as possible. And just so you know, as with my other LPs, I will be talking during the cutscenes, so if you're looking for a cut free, or a, a dialogue free version, or a commentary free version of these cutscenes, well, buy the game yourself. I mean, it's avail I would think it's available on the PSN there, so, but I got a hard copy myself, because, well, the PSN didn't have one ready yet, so I just picked up the first copy I could find. I love this part of the game. Well, okay, it's the very beginning of the game, but, but you know what I mean. Well, if you've played the game. What is with that bling you got there anyway? You got that symbol there or something. It's like the symbol of the game or something, like Final Fantasy X projects or something. I'll try not to talk over the voice actors too much, but, well, to an extent, it's going to be somewhat unavoidable. Listen to my story. Final Fantasy X? This may be our last chance. Final Fantasy... Oh, 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 oh. I almost, uh, spoiled plot here. I almost spoiled, like, a character's name. Final Fantasy X, X, X. No. No. Just Final Fantasy X.
So, what's over there, anyway? He was looking at something. That's eh, probably not important. What does it even say there? Is that, like, loading? They, like, use some weird letters or something for it. Now, they also did redo a lot of the music in this game, but a lot of it they didn't. A lot of it they seem to keep the same. Uh, I haven't heard enough of it to really have that much of an opinion yet. More of it, from what I have heard, eh, I prefer the originals, but I don't think they give you the option to use the original soundtrack. So, eh, oh, whatever. I mean, I don't think it's horrible. I mean, I just, eh, I guess I'm just accustomed to the original music so much. And that when I hear the remixed music, it kind of throws me off a little bit, I guess. But, eh, whatever. Yeah, not quite Final Fantasy XIII quality. Can you sign this? Still pretty good, no though. H.C. Bailey. Well, there's enough room for it, but no. We're going to go with the canon name. Titus. Alrighty. I'm pronouncing it Titus, not Titus. Take it easy. Now, remember, it's left, right, left, A. Or, Can wait, wait. Can I have your no. autograph? Of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Voice acting seems to be a little better, too. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll, uh, do this. I mean, just the technical quality. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> yeah, I know. Seat. He's blocking the front row. Got it. You know, a lot of you don't like the voice acting in this game, but oh well. But I mean, I'm just saying the technical quality. Well, gotta go. Just, Cheer for me. Just seems a little smoother Two, to me. Three. She just had a blitz. Uh, you got the wrong hey, hero for that. A game to play. Yeah, Final Fantasy X. Um, after. Maybe tonight. Um. I charge for lessons. You can't tonight. I mean, tomorrow. Yeah, got a date with my girlfriend. Promise? She'll be there. Promise. Have a little faith. Well, get all serious all of a sudden. It's just a sport, man. It's not a religion. Yeah, I guess some people take their sports so seriously, it's... Well, they treat it religiously. But, uh, well, me personally, not so much. Not even eSports. Tease's lips look a little smaller there. I don't know, in the PS2 version, it seemed like his lips were a lot, um, bigger for some reason. Now I'm going to be talking over the guy talking in the background there. I'll lower the volume here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to find a person here who uh, has an item that I'm looking for. I'm not 100% sure who it was. I thought it was uh, one of the girls around here. See, so yeah, I thought... Is that her? Oh, uh, now nah, she's just being paranoid. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Oh, no, wait! No, that's her! Uh, uh, I better not miss her. I really hope that's her. Are, are you the one who... Uh, who I can get the items from? Haha! -ha! There we go! Alright, found her. Yeah. You talk to her, you got some tickets for her, and in exchange you get a couple potions. Alright. Okay, I probably got more upset about that than I actually should have gotten, but... Well, I just wanted to make sure I get every item in the game. I think I know how to get every one. There's some that are really tricky. Like, you gotta fight a boss and run away from it in order to get a particular item at one time or it, i think it's a mini boss actually but something weird like that so yeah some of them can get a little tricky there but uh well, well we'll be okay we'll be okay make way make way coming through sorry everybody move hey i'm 
gonna be late. Hey, let go of me. Okay, Titus isn't that big, but yeah. Need the brute squad. I am the brute squad. Just take taking a shower before the game or something? Or what is Blitzball anyway? Is it like soccer? Yeah, kick ass! One of my favorite intros in the entire series. I mean, not just the music here, but the entire scene and everything they got going on here. You gonna get, like, electrocuted or something? That'd be pretty bad. Especially, uh, in water. I think they would have the games in a stadium somewhere closer to the city, I mean. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it looks pretty badass. Got a nice aura to him. Whoa. Is that part of the game? Aren't you, like, not allowed to hold people like that? I would think so. How do you pass that ball so fast through water like that? You suck. Okay, I like the pose that Titus did there. <laughs> I can relate to Titus because I'm an elitist snob like he is. Uh, I guess that was bad for us? So what is this, like, the high school division or something? Because, like, they're playing against, like, all the different districts of the city or something? I don't know. Whoa! Uh, I don't think that was part of the game, guys. What? No one saw that thing coming? Ah, oh, well, just got out. Uh oh. And of course, like all good JRPGs, it starts with your beloved peasant village being burned to the ground. Well, yeah, pretty much. Well, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so now we got uh, our mini map in the upper left there, and we can start exploring. Orin! Well, a little what bit. What are you doing here? I was waiting for you. What are you talking about? Uh, well, I was just making sure you're okay, dude. But anyway, let's try to get out of here through these long, narrow hallways. Oh. suddenly turn into Wesley Crusher? It begins. Yeah, pretty much. What? Don't cry. Okay, my entire city is being turned into smoldering rubble. But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm not going to get emotionally distraught about it or, or anything. That's okay. What the? Hey, wait! As you leisurely walk past me and I'm running as hard as I can. Hey, not this way. Look, the faster I run, the slower I go. Like the fashionable stubble he's got there. Oren. Better than Yang's porn stash. Holy cow. We called it sin. 
Um, where I come from, we call it water. But I guess you kind of need water in order to sin, so. Where did that thing come from, anyway? In that building there, I mean. Did those guys drill up through the building and then out like that? It just came out of nowhere. Whoa! I'm trying to remember where I've seen something like this before. Uh, you have to actually hit them with your fist. What happened to that glitchy ball of yours, anyway? Or we could use a sword. Why not? One thing I actually do like about Titus... Well, I mean, I like a lot of things about him, but... One thing I do like about him is uh, that he's actually at least physically qualified to save the world. I mean, he's pretty well-built. He's obviously an athlete, so he can keep up with the monsters and stuff. I mean, okay, he doesn't have sword training. That doesn't quite make sense. These but. ones don't matter. We cut through. But still, I mean, he's remotely qualified to save the world. Oh, of course we're going to save the world. Is it? That's a spoiler. But anyway, yeah. Right here, not a whole lot we need to do. We just uh, go through these guys and move on. They can't kill you. Uh, one thing that you can do really early in the game, if you want to work on your limit breaks or overdrives, as they call them in this game, you can just kill these guys. You can just kill the guys in the back here over and over and over again, and you'll be able to uh, uh, just build up your kills for learning another means of charging your overdrives. I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want. Or there's like one where you can kill off Oron and then get the loner one where you're by yourself or something rather like that. I don't know if that would work in the PS3 version though here, because those guys were attacking me. I thought in the PS2 version they just sat on their ass and didn't do anything. Maybe they changed that so you couldn't just build up your overdrives forever like that. I don't know. I'm kind of basing my knowledge on the PS2 version, though, because I haven't played the, this version yet. So, but we'll do what we can. Whoa. Yeah, that takes off a good chunk of your HP there. Get out of my town! Some can't wait to die. Yeah, kick ass! Okay, so this is our first opportunity to use an overdrive. You see the orange bar below Oran's name? That's his overdrive gauge there. So let's select that and use it on these guys. Now, usually there's a condition to... Uh, oh, whoa! Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry! Phew! Yeah, usually there's a condition to fulfilling an overdrive. In this case, it's entering those commands, kind of like Sabin's Blitzes, in a way, actually, from Final Fantasy VI. Uh, so, sorry if I went through that a little too quickly there, but, well, I'll go over it in more detail later. Now, you see, Titus' overdrive is fully charged up there, but I do not want to use that. I actually want to save that for another boss coming up, so that way I can get more ability points and items from him. Uh, because uh, there's a mechanic in this game called overkill, where if you overkill an enemy or deal a certain amount of damage to them when you deal the finishing blow, you'll get more items, more ability points, things like that. So I want to take advantage of that as much as possible, and I will. I will be totally breaking the game with that. I mean, I'm not going to go too far out of my way to get overkills, like for the first quarter, third of the game, it's going to be kind of hard to get them, but uh, eventually it'll become a lot easier. Now this boss, at least in the PS2 version, is basically impossible to lose to because it deals damage based on a percentage of your current HP, so you'll basically never die. But I don't know if they fix that in the PS3 version here. Yeah. But in any case, we got Hooray! But can we find a way to escape the city before it's too late? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X! 
This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! Oh yeah, and the save points in this game restore your HP and MP automatically, so that'll help you out for next time!